This is going to be a video on how to test the charger output on your Minn Kota 440D charger. It's a four bank charger with uh, 10 amps per bank. This uh, is a brand new charger, brand new batteries. It's a whole brand new setup in a boat. Uh, so everything is going to be at the optimal level that you'd ever see. Um, it has been on charge all day. Uh, I've run the motor up and down a few times and run the, uh, you know, we're out of the water here. So I just ran it for about five minutes. Um, so this is the at rest voltage of one of the batteries. In this case, we're going to assume they're all the same. We're only going to specifically test one of the batteries. This is more to just verify what the charger is doing, what the lights are doing. Um, when you first plug it in, you do want to watch it to see what happens. You're going to be looking for uh, all of the lights coming on to all three, or excuse me, all three lights on all four banks. That self-check right there, they should go to a solid amber. And at that point, your voltage should quickly raise up here. Um, should peak out around 14 uh 14.5 14.2 somewhere in that range and that at this point again just after a few few seconds of being charging now they're at the flashing spot flashing amber so we're settled in around 14.5 and you need to let it go for a bit until it goes to the flashing green so i'm going to pause the video here and wait for it to go to flashing green as we're waiting for this we're going to just go over what it says in the uh, owner's manual for it uh, the bulk charging is a solid yellow um, and it delivers full power. The absorption uh, is the next stage that will help hold the battery at 14.4 volts. And that will be your flashing yellow. Uh, maintenance is the next level. Uh, when the battery reaches full charge, charger voltage is reduced. A flashing green LED is lit to indicate the battery is in maintenance mode and ready to use. After 24 hours, the charger automatically turns off and a steady green LED is lit to indicate the battery is in long-term maintenance mode and ready to use. The charger will automatically resume charging when the battery voltage drops below 12.6. So, um, anywhere in that uh, green, either solid or flashing, uh, is going to be more like 12.6. And anywhere in the yellow is going to be uh, a solid yellow should be like 14.4. And uh, we're still on solid amber here. So I'm going to pause this again and wait for it to drop. So now we are at four flashing green lights. Again, this was not really drawn down that far. Uh, so it's only been you know, used for a few minutes. And uh, the time elapsed here is about 10 or 15 minutes that it was charging. Once it hit the flashing green, now our battery voltage is 13.3. Uh, when it goes to solid green, it will uh, go down to the 12.6, 12.7 range, and that will be the, the maintenance level. So uh, if your charger is not doing this based on the lights and the battery voltage, then you have a problem with your charger. Uh, you do also need to check the water level in your batteries and uh, make sure that they're not low. If you have a battery with low water level the reason is is that the charger is overcharging 
and boiling the water out of the battery. Um, and at that point, you know, the charger itself has probably, you know, failed or is not operating the way it should be. And then, and the, doing that over an extended period of time is going to ruin the battery and will require the battery to be replaced. So, um, while the lights here do indicate what it's supposed to do, uh, we have seen that the lights don't always, uh, either may not operate or may not, uh, the bat the charger may not do what it's supposed to do based on the light. So, um, if it gets to the point where it's uh, flashing green and that voltage is still at 14 and a half and not 13, you know, 13, two, 13, three, uh, that's when you have a charger problem. And then the other thing that we don't see here is the red light. That can mean check connection, uh, which is possibly a bl blown fuse. Or if the charger gets down to the point where, um, it uh, doesn't, it, you know, doesn't see the battery as far as it gets below a threshold voltage of like seven or eight volts. You'll get a red light showing check connection as well. And again, it doesn't mean that that battery is, uh, you know, has blown fuses on it or anything. It means that it's too low to charge. At that point, we recommend taking an individual regular battery charger and just charging that one battery up uh, to get it up to the higher voltage, you know, the 10, 11, 12 volt range, and then switch back over to your regular charger and see if that goes to the proper settings, uh, you know, as far as getting rid of the red light. So, um, there is also another page here in the book that tells you that information on the lights, but, um, Um, flashing red indicates there's an error, um, which I think is typically uh, known as an error with a temperature sensor in there. So each battery lead has a temperature sensor in there to assist in telling the charger how much power to put out. Um, And um, the other thing that is specified here in the charger is um, there's a frequently asked questions page in here. Uh, will I damn? Uh, damage my batteries if I leave the charger plugged in over long periods of non-use, like storage. Um, it says no, and the charger floats down to 13.4 volts, but the big note here is it is important to check the electrical light, electrolyte level every 30 days. So if your boat is shrunk wrap and you're not able to get to the batteries or get to the charger, then we do not recommend that you leave the charger plugged in for extended periods of time. Um, the way we store our boats, we you know, shrink wrap them, we check the, the water level in the fall. Before we wrap them, we'll run a charge cord out underneath the wrap and we will plug them in for a day or two, once a month over the winter months. Um, because that's all they really need to, to maintain the batteries. And again, we can't go in and check the water levels. Um, so it's, uh, it's best to do that periodically and not uh, leaving it in for a long period of time if, if you're not able to go in and check, um, check the water levels to, to be sure that things are in, in good shape. So... That's an overview on the charger settings. Um, you could go through and check each battery individually. Anytime you're gonna check you know, each battery, you're just gonna go positive to negative and read the voltage. Um, and again, it's 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt, 12 volt. 
that adds up to 48. Obviously, when it's charging, it's going to be 13 times 4, or on the high charge setting, 14 and a half times 4. Um, you can measure the total system voltage by going off the main lead of battery 1 to the negative lead on battery 4. Uh, that should give you your 48 volts, but um, the way we're doing the new systems with the uh, separate mounted breaker there, um, there shouldn't be any real way or any real situation where you wouldn't get 48 volts, at least to the breaker. Um, the old style systems had the inline breaker uh, between batteries two and three. The new systems have this wall mounted, uh, in most cases, wall mounted battery or excuse me, breaker that has a uh, shut off feature. So you can essentially disconnect the batteries from the, the motor system while you're charging it. And that's how we recommend to do it. So any other questions, let us know. But that should uh, walk you through the basics on how to test and what you should be seeing along the different stages of the charger settings.